Hey guys, this is Andy McCann with CrossFit Garage coming to you from Woodstock, Georgia. And I got a question here from Michelle. She says, question for Andy, the CrossFit guy. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> the CrossFit guy. Is a kettlebell routine a good idea for general physical preparedness or is there something else that you would add? Details. I'm a 32-year-old woman looking for a low-impact home workout to maintain good and general fitness. I started CrossFit in 2009 and continued to train that way until I switched to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in 2018. Over the years, I have collected some injuries. By 2023, I stopped going to the gym because I was getting hurt too much. I tried Olympic lifting, but my old knee injury flared up. I also tried F45, but that wasn't for me. My exercise routine has devolved into gardening and walking the puppy around the neighborhood. I miss feeling super fit, but I also want to avoid injuries. What would you recommend? Okay, so first off, uh, good on you for at least doing something. Gardening is great and walking the puppy, what better thing could you do, right? Just go more distance. So if you're looking at the ideas or the precepts of general physical preparedness, what we really want to do is cover cover the um, all the uh, areas, especially the area under the bell shaped curve of things that could happen. So we want long and um, endurance. So hey, walk the dog for long. Well, it's a puppy, so walk the dog, right? Or garden. You can be out there for hours, but then you also need short and intense, and then you need the stuff in the middle, and that's really where CrossFit revolves around that stuff in the middle. I do love the idea of it, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Learning to fight can't be bad, and you're mixing that with your fitness, so good on you. But yes, you can get hurt doing some things, and it sounds like you like to push yourself. And I know that you did CrossFit back in 2009, which there was a lot of stupid stuff going on in uh, 2009 to about 2012. I started in 2007, and I can attest to the fact that there was a lot of stupid stuff happening. But that's typically us and not the methodology. There are plenty of people who do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and CrossFit that never get hurt. And um, we just have to remove our desire to like crush everybody else. So you said, I missed the feeling of being super fit. I know exactly where you're coming from. So here's the thing. GPP or general physical preparedness is what CrossFit's about. And using a kettlebell is a great routine. So you can follow any kettlebell routine online. You're probably going to um, do it really well for yourself. But I would look at um, CrossFit Lynchpin. And let me pull them up real quick to read off a little bit about what they do. I know I've mentioned him on this podcast before. He's got a podcast uh, called um, CrossFit Lynchpin as well as uh, Very Not Random. Yeah, so it's just CrossFitLynchpin.com. And it's uh, Pat Sherwood who runs this. And basically he puts out programming for people who want um, to avoid injuries, but still do uh, the idea of CrossFit methodology. So we take away the idea of CrossFit the games and he has a just a decent methodology and he's got some really good uh, one-liners in here. Let me read some of them. Lynchpin does not have a strength bias. We do not have a gymnastic bias. We do not have a conditioning bias. We have a long-term health and fitness bias. And that's what I love. So I'm doing this stuff to be harder to kill. And I think that's good. So the idea of CrossFit is GPP, general physical preparedness. So maybe add in some of this stuff and you can follow him online by a subscription. It's been uh, pretty interesting to listen and watch um, his stuff. Of course, I follow our own programming through CrossFit affiliate programming because I have a gym, but um, he's got an at-home option. So you don't even have to have gear, you can pretty much do this anyway. I'm going to put a link to some uh, dumbbells because really you can't go wrong with dumbbells. I know kettlebells are a great option, but they do kind of fit weird in your hand. If you try to pick them up above your head, either they're going to bonk into your wrist or you get to balance them quite um, uniquely. So I'll put a link for uh, um, uh, Jack in the show notes, or he can put it in the show notes where you can buy some uh, kettle or some uh, dumbbells off of Amazon. That being said, if you don't want to follow them and you want to do your own thing, that's totally cool. It's really, I think for you, is going to be a mindset. You don't have to be the super fittest person in the world. You just need to be fit for what you want to do. So in the terms of pre- the preparedness world and general for physical preparedness, I mean, basically it's like be able to pick up a large item and move it from here to there or pick up some, I don't know, what it is like you're, you're doing right now, the gardening and stuff. Now on the fitness side of it, you're going to have to get the other sides. So I need heavy, I need intense, I need long, I need slow, I need conditioning. I mean, you need all those things. And that's where kind of the um, varied, not random comes into play. So one of the things that I know for sure is routine is the enemy. So if you find a kettlebell routine, make sure it's varied. So you're not really doing the same things over and over. Um, they, They are a great tool and there's tons of stuff out there. And I'm pretty sure, actually, let me go look up one of the ones that I know about. All right. If you go to wadwell.com, you can actually look up um, workouts that have uh, kettlebells in them. And it's usually non gear except for a kettlebell. And I think there's like 941 that I'm looking at right now. So you can have somebody's just 
their workouts. Of course, if it's um, completely varied without any real programming and ideas, then uh, sometimes you might end up doing the exact same movements over and over. So to have somebody actually programming it out for you is nice. Um, All right. You said you also want to avoid injury. So one of the biggest thing I can tell you there is get yourself enough warm up. I like to uh, stay super warm. So I'll put a hoodie on and then jump on the bike or a rower and I'll even go to class beforehand and just get myself warmed up before the classes warm up. And at 50, I just know that I need that, right? And then afterwards, um, I will take the time to actually roll out and stretch and I'll you know, figure out what part of my body is not feeling the best. And I'll take a foam roller. Actually, I use a, a PVC pipe from Home Depot, but <laughs> a large one. But a foam roller is what most sane people will use. Use a PVC pipe to roll out those areas or a nice trick is to get a lacrosse ball or a uh, baseball and you can put it down in the areas that need to be rolled, like you know, in the uh, meat of your back, the muscles, and roll that around. So it's a good way to stay loose. Another good one is it depends on the item that is um, hurting, but just give it that attention and then take notes. Why do I feel the way I feel and where does it hurt? I think if you are smart about this and you let go of the, I need to win and you're just moving, you're probably going to find that this is going to work out great for you. Good luck. And if you have anything specific, hit me, Andy at CrossFitGarage.com. Take care.